This is a free lesson from my course Workflow of Modern Web Design from Sketching to Style Guides. In this lesson, we are going to talk about prototypes. Uh, what are their purposes? Why we create them? And why do we need to create in our web design process? Why we need prototypes right now? Okay, so let's get started. Now, the first question is what are prototypes? For prototypes are basically interactive version of your final product. Whether you are designing a web app or mobile app or website, it should have some interactions into it, okay? So if you tap or click something, it interact and shows another screen. This is basically the prototype. Goal of your prototype is to test your products, digital products like websites or mobile apps with your users. Let's talk about the purpose of prototypes. Now, why prototypes are created to get feedback from your users to test the usability of your website, whether uh, your website have some usability flaws like uh, whether a user can sign in easily or create an account easily or set up their uh, shopping cart easily. Okay. Also, why we create prototypes there is another reason which is that we need to test our flows and interactions now if i click on login button whether it is going to show a pop-up or a new page okay so this decision is going to be design based so how you are going to convey this message to your developer okay so you need to show them your flows and interactions on your websites or mobile apps Okay, let's talk about the types of prototypes. Okay, there are few types of prototypes like low fidelity, high fidelity, and there are also actual coded uh, prototypes which are very close to the actual product. Okay, so paper prototypes are basically uh, static prototypes or low fidelity prototypes which are created on papers. You just draw different shapes and uh, test on your users and they are created in early stages to get feedback from users. Okay, I'm not going to go in very depth of uh, about these prototypes because it is this course focus is not on uh, user experience but on websites. Okay, or web design. Okay, here is an example of paper prototype. You can see over here, it is a visual image from Kathy Fisher and uh, it is a very low fidelity uh, functional paper prototype. And what it does is that user taps or clicks or select on one uh, menu item and uh, you are going to show them the next screen by yourself, okay? So basically all the animation or interactivity is going to be manual and you are going to change the screen and show them the next paper slide. Now in this course, why we are creating prototypes, basically we need to show our interactions and uh, our flows of our website from one button or one page to another or from one uh, link to another page, okay? So these are the interactions like hovering over the buttons and animations and something like this. These are the animations and interactions we need to show or tell our developers okay there are many apps to create prototypes uh, envision app is my favorite among those marvel also have one free account and proto.io is not free at all but they have a lot of animations and uh, uh, different uh, interactions okay so proto.io is very advanced but it doesn't have any free account also, you can use UX Pin to create wireframes and prototypes. I haven't created any prototype using UX Pin, but I have used Envision app and Marvel. Okay. In the next lesson, we are going to create a very simple prototype by using Envision app. Okay. So let's move on to the next lesson. If you want to learn a pro level process of responsive web design using design frameworks like Atomic Design and 8 Point Grid System, and if you want to learn about wireframing, how to gather project information, ideation techniques, mood boards, style guides, and prototyping, all these advanced web design topics, then you should take this course. Discount coupon link for this course is in the description of this video. Get this course now for only $10, okay? And don't miss this opportunity.